Hi Capricorn, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I've made some changes to this channel where I'll be posting all 12 individual sign readings once a week and a live stream every now and then. In this reading, we're going to get you some important messages that you need to hear this week. Today is the 2nd of January 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 8.14 a.m. <clears throat> Sorry, Cap. I'm losing my voice a little bit. <laughs> it's because of the New Year's Eve party. But anyway, Cap, Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Now let's get your reading started, okay? Spirits and angels, please show me for Capricorn. Important messages that Capricorn need to hear this week. Ooh, these already want to come out. Cap, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever who could be in your energy field this week. <laughs> My voice. Nice. Hmm. Four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Wow, this week. Um, some of you, Cap, bear in mind a lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning to the end. Now the four pentacles here for me indicate some of you are just keeping to yourself this week, okay? Um, or uh, managing your money, man managing your finances, but it could also be, be Spirit's way of saying don't overspend. This is a very frugal card. You needing to be frugal or, you know, manage your finances. Some of you are literally are going to be managing your finances this week, okay? This is also you keeping to yourself about something uh, this week because the sun and the ace of pentacles, you could be preparing for a new beginning where, um, Either you're going to be spending more money or it's it's almost like saving. I'm saving my money or I'm saving my energy, okay? If this is energetic instead of money because energy is also something very valuable. Pentacles is something very valuable. It doesn't have to come, although it, it should mean that, something physical, something like money, but it could also be anything that you view as valuable to you, okay? Something that money can't buy could just be you energetically, you know, preserving yourself because you there's a new beginning that's coming in with the sun and the ace of pentacles, sort of like preparing for like a new beginning where... Um, where it's going to take a lot of your energy, okay? It takes um, you feeling good about it and having a positive mindset or just um, the sun. It's It just makes me feel like hap. this new beginning is going to make you feel really, really happy, but you need to preserve something first. You need to preserve either your energy or money <laughs> before you can have this new start, okay? But it could also be Spirit's way of saying... Uh, prepare okay it is like it feels like someone is bracing right now it looks like you know how when you're on a plane you know bracing for an impact but this is a good impact okay um nothing to worry about because this the tower the tower here is in love first preparing for a new beginning that i feel is gonna change your life in a very significant way or cap it could be space with saying hey prepare Brace yourself for this week because the tower is in reverse. When it's in reverse, that means it will go up right um, in the future, okay? Possibly in the near, near future since this is your weekly prediction. But it looks beautiful to me. And look, Eight of Pentacles is right here. Some of you are just going to be focusing on work, fo focusing on chores, focusing on whatever that is important. Whatever that's important to you and the high persist here, it's almost like you keeping to yourself. Again, there are two cards that indicate you keeping quiet, keeping to yourself um, for this revelation, right? The tower and the sun revealing, revealing something possibly to people, to yourself. There's some sort of revelation that either you are, you're actually seeing this coming or you've been preparing for it. Okay, or if you're not, it's basically saying, hey, prepare, brace yourself for this impact. Okay, it's a very impactful week uh, to a lot of you. And the Nine of Wands here is in my verse, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands in my verse, Seven of Swords in my verse. 
there's going to be some sort of revelation, okay, Cap, this week. And I feel like, again, most of you have been just quietly working on it, keeping to yourself and uh, preparing for this launch. It feels like a launch, okay? Um, it may not launch this week for some of you. It may launch like a little bit later, but you, I see you just preparing for it, okay, this week. But if you're unaware of this, okay, if you haven't been prepared for preparing for this launch, this new beginning, this revelation, spirit's definitely saying prepare for it, okay? The high priestess also can indicate um, you needing to tune into your intuition, okay? This week, this week your intuition is going to be heightened. But the not of ones and one verse also can indicate you not um, specifically saying don't tell people yet, okay? Don't tell, don't don't sort of publicize something that hasn't happened yet, okay? Do that much much later because the eight of ones and one verse indicates you needing to hold back on um, announcing something, okay? And six of swords, some of you are leaving. To somewhere you could be um, traveling but this is you moving towards common water as well moving towards um, stability perhaps because the eight of pentacles pentacles indicates something that is stable something that is solid moving towards something that is very solid stable um, that's going to define this new happy beginning so it's a it's I feel like this new beginning is what you've been again waiting for right Seven of Swords here is in reverse. Hmm. For some of you, it could also be a revelation in regards to someone in particular. Okay, this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, could be any sign, Pisces, okay, Leo again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, so on, Swords, and Reverse. Something is going to be revealed to you as well, Capricorn, this week, where it's going to help you to decide whether you want to um stick around or move away from this person okay there's one individual here but it could also indicate this person offering you something okay ace of pentacles could be a job offer um any sorts of new opportunity or a commitment for some of you okay but i'm also seeing cap you um this week just ignoring a lot of messages ignoring um certain communication with a certain individual or multiple individuals all right cap um let's pull out a few more cards <laughs> i want to make sure that every video because i'm doing all 12 signs for this channel today every every video must have at least 10 minutes okay <laughs> we've got the strength here in my first Ten of Pentacles, and then also we've got the Eight of Swords and One First. See, when I was talking about stability, because there are a lot of Pentacles here, so you could be preparing for some sort of a new beginning. That's gonna make you feel very stable, very calm, the high persist, and very happy as well. But I also see you restraining yourself from um, announcing it so early on. So early on. It could be for some of you being pregnant, the son, not all of you, okay, son as a child or buying a new house, um, getting into a serious relationship or getting married. Any sorts of like new beginning that's going to make you feel really happy. I feel you just um, not saying anything about it this week or could, it could be you intuitively knowing that you shouldn't or it could just be spirit's way of saying, hey, don't announce it before, you know, uh, there's a saying. Don't uh, count the eggs before they hatch, right? So I feel like a lot of you could be either, you could be aware of not doing that this week or it could just be this way of saying, hey, don't, okay, don't announce it yet. Don't count the eggs. Don't count the chicken before the eggs are hatched. <laughs> I'm so bad with sayings, but um, that's definitely what I'm seeing here. And the strength of my is feeling like, okay, now you don't have to tiptoe anymore. Now... See, you've got one, Ten of Pentacles, again, an ending and then a new beginning, right? The strength in reverse, it's something that you've been holding back. It's, some, it's something that you've been treading very carefully. You've been planning it. I see it, see it coming into fruition, or you can see some signs of it coming into, in, uh, into fruition. It could be work in progress for some of you uh, this week. 
and it, it's looking good. Some of you are furnishing like a new house or furnishing something, buy a new car this week. Um, again, it's not something that you suddenly impulsively are just going to buy or spend money on. I feel like this is something you have truly been uh, preparing for, okay? I see you continuously preparing for that this week, and you might hear some good news in regards to that, okay? It's a specific, very specific thing, a project um, that's going to have this new impact, this, this very happy new beginning for um, actually a lot of you, okay? Some of you, you could literally be pregnant and don't really want to announce it this week, or it could just be you finding out that you're pregnant, okay? If you're pregnant or somebody very close to you is pregnant, um, you might hear from like your people you care about, people close to you, that this person is pregnant. If it's not you, it's Pentacles. It's a baby girl, okay? Anyway, Cap, this is your reading. Um, your weekly reading, I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels. I have four channels all together. All the links are in the description box below. And if you'd like to catch me live, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Because um, I do go live very often on this on this channel as often as I can, okay? It's up to my mood. Sometimes I go live, sometimes I don't. But this is an opportunity for you to also get me to do your personal reading during my live stream. For those of you kind of like on a budget, because to book me for private reading, it will be uh, even pricier, okay? But there is no set price on this these uh, personal readings during live stream, because it's also my way of trying to help. Um, but also, at the same time, I don't want to be taken advantage for off because I used to give free personal readings during my live stream. But anyway, take care, Cap. I hope to see you back here again next week or during my live stream. And don't forget, again, to hit on the bell notification button. Uh, hit like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys, and Happy New Year. Bye.